Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs> nice to be outside today, waiting for the hurricane. The big hurricane. Uh oh, watch out. Marcus Conti reporting the weather from lovely the East Coast, up the East Coast in New York City. The Hurricane Dorian, you heard? Hurricane Dorian, let's talk about it. Because this was the scene of the crime in 2012. Hurricane Sandy came blasting into the, the coast of New York. The eye of the hurricane whacked New York City right here, right? But you see like New York, you see all the hills, right? Brooklyn is actually elevated, right? except for certain parts. Like Coney Island or Seagate, where Epstein was from, right down there. Right. Or Staten Island, if you look across the water, right? Staten Island got pretty, got hit pretty heavy, but not right there. It got it got hit heavy by the by the uh, beach line over there, in what's called the basin. Right. It's like it's like, or, or if you look right here, right? If you look on the coast, right? You see how the the coast is right here. And if the tide comes up 10, 15 feet, it clears the, it clears the, the barrier here, right, or the wall, I guess the seawall you call it, and it filled up the highway. <laughs> Bell Parkway was flooded. So anyway, there's this uh, Category 4 hurricane. Something to talk about. I love storms, man. Storms are powerful, man. Storms are a metaphor for, for nature, for, for humanity, really. Sometimes it's very calm. A community is very calm. People are, are loving. There's there's peace, and then all of a sudden war breaks out. Right? War out of nowhere. It's just this built up energy, and pow! Fucking people start killing each other. Right? It's the nature of war. Right? The nature of death and dying. You get a good shot of this. You get a good shot of this guy. His days were numbered, right? His days were numbered, just like our days are numbered. There's nobody exempt. Nobody exempt. Oops. You can run from death, but it's still going to get you. It's still going to get you, no matter how you look at it. It's like a storm all of a sudden, right? You think everything is cool, and all of a sudden, death. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. But anyway, that's where that's where my mind is at, right? You gotta break away from the from the vicious cycle of the news once in a while. It's fucking what do we see? All the sh mass shootings over the last month? The Epstein The Epstein tobacco predatory killer, predatory raper, and then gets killed and hung in his cell. It's crazy news, man. It's crazy times, right? So this hurricane. Let's talk about the fucking hurricane. And his weather report here. Mark Scotty reporting the weather. So, Category 4 hurricane, Hurricane Dorian. Uh, it's likely heading north up the coast. So, in New York City, we're about a thousand miles away. But, it's still, we don't get the if, the, if the hurricane hits Florida or, I guess, North Carolina, South Carolina, wherever. Right, Charlton. If it hits that area, we don't get the, uh, the wind but we get the waves. Right? That's how I know about. That's why I know about hurricanes because this is common, by the way. This is not unusual or a result of of um, global warming. Every year at this time, this is hurricane season in New York City. Hurricanes come blasting up the East Coast all all the time. Not in New York City, but the East Coast. So if you're not a uh, East Coast person or you know, someone familiar with ocean hurricane stuff. It's very normal. It's not, it's not un uncommon. So 
this hurricane right now is um, pretty bad. It's a category four. It's likely heading up north. Uh, and it's going to likely slam into Florida, but they're already projecting that it's going to go a little north. By late Monday, early Tuesday. 140 mile an hour winds. Ooh, that's a lot. Because Sandy, the, the, the hurricane that hit here, hit as, I, I believe, a Category 2. And that was only 90 mile an hour winds. And I could tell you, 90 mile an hour winds knocked down a lot of these trees. There was a lot more trees over here, but... 90 mile an hour wind bends a tree and can break the tree and knock it down. Uh, not, not, you know, not, not speaking to the water damage that the hurricane does, but just the wind, the damage that the wind does is uh, pretty severe. So at 90 mile an hour, we saw what Sandy did. At 140 mile an hour winds and torrential rains, I could start knocking, I don't know, maybe knock down a couple of weak buildings and move a car, move cars, definitely definitely get a, 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 a ocean swell 15, 20 feet. That's plenty. That's enough to take out a lot of the, a lot of all those beach homes, people that, that, that live below the sea level in a basin. Not good. Not good. So the hurricane uh, Dorian is 500 miles away right now. Uh, it's moving at 10 miles an hour west northwest. West northwest, it's slightly north of the Bahamas right now. Slightly north of the Bahamas, and it's it's heading towards Florida, with a view towards banging a right up the east coast. <laughs> what else can we tell you? It's likely to slam into um, Orlando and and Jacksonville. Um, it could last seven days. They're saying that's a long time, right? So if it lasts seven days and it works its way up the East Coast, um, it could, it'll, it'll ultimately become a Category 1. It starts to fizzle out as it hits land, as all storms do. Right? All storms start to fizzle as they hit land. So a Category 1 storm working its way up the East Coast is not so bad, but only if you live below sea level because... The water swell, that's the big damage, right? See, that, like, I remember in Sandy, I live in a building over here, like a big old brick building. Pfft, nothing. I mean, it was windy. And you had to shut the windows or, you, you know, your plants will fly around. But, but essentially, it was just the sound of the, ooh, the wind. But it doesn't damage these old buildings. My neighborhood in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, you know, was untouched really a couple of, a lot of trees got knocked down but that's about it and there's no more all the power lines in most of Brooklyn now are underground so the power lines don't even get hit so anyway Marcus Conti reporting it's a beautiful day uh oh we gotta check for the chemtrails is there any chemtrails up there I don't know I don't know I think they're poisoning us I think we're being poisoned by the chemtrails. That's what they told me. I think Trump, I Q said that Trump stopped it all. Trump stopped the chemtrails, but I don't know. I think I see a few. I think I see some chem chemicals raining down, raining down. They're trying to stop the hurricane with the chemtrail. <laughs> condensation, man, that's all it is. It's condensation, that's what happens when a plane crosses crosses through the atmosphere cold air hitting hot air it's a cloud ah conspiracy the conspiracy of uh, everything's a conspiracy man everything's a conspiracy in this life a big tradition in New York right or anywhere I guess but uh, putting your lock on a Putting your lock on a fence. A forever lock. <laughs> I think they made it illegal by the Brooklyn Bridge. Because everybody was putting locks on the Brooklyn Bridge. And, and it was just like it was taking up the whole fence. To show your love. <laughs> your togetherness. Your commitment to something. 
So the big storm is coming. It won't be the last one. It won't be the first one. It won't be the last one. To the people in Florida, watch out. Don't take it lightly. People in New York took Sandy lightly. It's, ah, it never fucking hit. <laughs> eye of the hurricane. Ah, it'll never hit New York. And it did. The eye of the hurricane whacked New York City at high tide. That's important too. That's an important factor. What the tide is when the, when the storm comes in. Because if it's high tide, you got to add another seven feet to the swell. If it's low tide, you, you subtract. The, the, you know, the hurricane's got to work harder to get it over the uh, get the water over the 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 um, water wall whatever it's called <laughs> storm wall <laughs> all right I'll kill it here Marcus Conti reporting